Welcome to Grandad Reviews. This time I want to have a look at interframe noise reduction. When I first got the X-T3 and I decided that's what I was going to use for video, obviously I got the manual and had a read through and I got to page I know it's boring, 149, and I came across Interframe NR. It says select on to enable interframe noise reduction. And it's got a little bit in grey. It says off is selected automatically at frame size other than 4K, or when a frame size of 4K is combined with a frame rate of 59.94 or 50p. Also, ghosting may occur when moving subjects or the camera is moved during shooting. Oh, ah, noise reduction. So, I had a look on YouTube, and to be honest, there's not really a lot on YouTube looking at interframe noise reduction. A couple of little very short videos. So, I googled it, and the only thing I could really find about it uh, is on FujiFilmUSA.com where it says the introduction of a new noise reduction process and new 4K interframe NR function have reduced noise at ISO 12100 by the equivalent of approximately two stops. The NR process has a greater level of noise identifying accuracy for appropriate denoising performance. The 4K interframe NR function uses differential data between adjacent frames to reduce noise even further. So really Still nothing much. So I thought, let's have a look. So your NR function is in the movie setting menu down on page two and your interframe noise reduction off and on. So I've gone out, I've done a very non-scientific test. Um, I've done a, a test in the studio here and I've done a test out doing some night shooting. So I'll show you those results and you can uh, see what you think. But to be honest I was quite surprised. I know this video is going to be a little bit boring, not very exciting, uh, but if you do find it of interest you'll learn that maybe when you're shooting in high ISO situations when you have no other choice putting interframe noise reduction on can make a difference. Uh, it'll be your choice whether you use it or not. I have noticed that the AF works a bit slower with it on um, and you do lose some sharpness, some detail in it but not a huge amount. Um, but you can make that decision at the end of the video. So let's get to the computer. So right, on, on screen what we've got is the main wide shot of my setup which has got the uh, colour checker, grey card, something with a bit of detail, an old X10. And at the bottom I've zoomed in 200% so we can see the noise. So if we start this plane see how much difference that interframe noise reduction makes, especially to that grey card. Now I've just moved to see if there's any ghost in, but it doesn't see, there's a little bit on the edges, but nothing major. But what I do find is the AF goes off a bit. But the detail's not too bad. I think you've lost a little bit of detail in the camera, a little bit in the writing, but nothing major. And there's don't see any ghosting on the cars. But on the grey card, it's made a huge difference. Now this is outside, and I used ISO 12800, and I bumped it up to 25,600, 25, just to see. So, as you can see, these are... The main shots are ta taken. It's made quite a big difference 
And now I've, I've jumped into 200%, and you can see how much difference that uh, interframe noise has made, especially on the 25,600 shot. It's made a huge difference there. And even on the 12,800, I would say that's, yes, probably two stops better. So that's my look at interframe noise reduction. As you can see, it does make a difference. Um, it does knock the detail down a, a little bit, but not by much. Uh, I didn't see too much ghosting. The only, say, the only things I did notice was the AF was a bit slower um, and just slight drop in detail. But I think if you're in a, stuck in a situation where you've got to use high ISO and there's no other way around it, then interframe noise reduction seems to make a big difference. And if you allied that with some noise reduction in post-production, I think you'd have some quite usable uh, footage. So if you enjoyed that video, give it a thumbs up. If you didn't, give it a thumbs down. If you want to see more videos like that, hit that subscribe button. If you want to be notified, hit that bell button. Until next time, see you later.